Something is brewing, about to begin. Can't put me finger on what lies in store. I feel what's to happen. All happened before. We return to the Ingersoll Lockwood webpage. First, let's quickly review any updates to the pages through hidden links. At the very top of the page, you find a period, click through. It takes you to Frank Space, which appears to be Mike Lindell's social media. And so you can say that indirectly, Ingersoll appears to be promoting the following individuals who are on frankbeach.com. You have General Flynn, The Absolute Truth with Emerald Robinson, Roger Stone, Brandon House, sort of daily podcast. The War Room is Steve Bannon, so that is noted. So then you scroll down, you have the Space Force vector click through, and it goes to the US Space Force website application page. Under the vector, you have an extra period. You could previously click through it, which I had demonstrated on a prior video. You can't click through it anymore. You have the date 9 15 2020. I did try to find the significance of the date 9 15 2020. This is a portal of events that occurred September 15th, 2020 by Wikipedia, maybe not the best source. Uh, one potential notable is that Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny issues first public statement since his poisoning via Instagram. Navalny at the time is a 44-year-old lawyer and outspoken Kremlin critic who fell ill on a flight from the Siberian city of Tomsk to Moscow after a trial to support opposition candidates in local elections. This article is probably biased because it states that Russia has angrily dismissed the finding, saying its doctors found no trace of poison. Um, also on this date, there was a hysterectomy scandal, which occurred in Georgia, United States. There was a suspension of a Trump tariff on Canada. I don't think that's significant. John McAfee passed June of 2021, so it's not that. 11 63 which you know is the date JFK Sr. passed. Okay, so there's a website called the U.S. Debt Clock, and very interestingly, we have this overlay on the clock. usdebtclock.org secret window reopen tonight at 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You see what looks like an arc at the top, arc like Noah's Ark, I mean. I'm on the website usdebtclock.org. 
That was the link through for the F letter. The secret window, whatever it is, apparently is something that is regularly open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Clicking on the letter C takes you to Google Earth, specifically location with the coordinates 66 South 99 East. Some would presume is a secret base of sorts. I've covered this in previous videos. On the YouTube platform, you can find a playlist called the Ingersoll Lockwood Playlist, which contains a lot of videos I've produced over the years. Now clicking through on the period after case by case basis links you to a federal register entry for the executive order, the famous one, imposing certain sanctions in the event of foreign interference in the United States selection. September 14th, 2018. This is the one that keeps getting renewed. The period on etc. takes you to the German Disk Aircraft's wiki page, which discusses a lot concerning what's known of previous UFOs and the German connection to those. There is a period clickable for under attack that takes you to U.S. Department of Justice document by John Durham to Garland, reported on matters related to intelligence activities and investigations arising out of 2016 presidential campaigns. Yes, the Durham report. Clicking through the S on is takes you to the webpage for Abraham Accords, which is a Bureau of Near Eastern Affairs webpage. What came of these accords, given the events of recent times? The parties of these conflicts have already been penalized for mentioning previously, so I won't mention them again. The D clicks through to this clip here, Mary Poppins Bank Run, a clip I played to you in this video's beginning montage. Very interesting that right after this update was created to the Ingersoll Lockwood page on Friday, Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, all glitched on the same day. This resulted in major deposit delays affecting 900,000 transactions. Also a large bank, Citizens Bank, was closed by the Iowa division on the 3rd, the day prior, taken into FDIC receivership. This led Ann Vandersteel to announce that, quote, we're in a depression worse than the Great Depression. But remember, Patriots, success comes by operating with the assumption of future success, not fear of the depredations of depression. So in total, if this webpage is to have great insight into matters unforeseen, then it will be appropriate to come to the conclusion that UFOs, Antarctica, the intention of the Abraham Accords to continue peace in the Middle East, the U.S. debt bubble, are all interrelated factors affecting our current existence, and also the date, September 15, 2020, the significance I'm uncertain of. There was previously a clickable bunny, I'm not able to click through it at this point, of note, on October 31st, someone uploaded to TikTok that the bunny at that time, which was upright, linked through to a song that's played in the Mary Poppins movie. Person clicks through and it takes you there. Winds in the East, Mary Poppins, 1964. We have a TikTok video share that notes that there was a page change for the debt clock with a theory that a displayed seal may represent the sixth seal, signifying a coming nuclear apocalypse of sorts. Username Stevie posted on October 28th that Ingersoll Lockwood Group posted this video. Interesting. Credit to Angela Hart for the decodes. Joe Franklin demonstrated something I couldn't believe right away. So using Internet Archive, I went back to November the 1st, clicked through where the White Rabbit used to be. Page will refresh. And look at that, 11, 3, 45, 47 plus. It's a link to the Mary Poppins video. Mary Poppins video, check it out. Come put me finger on what lies in store. I feel what's to happen. All happened before. Interesting. Winds in the east, 11, 3. Huh. Something gonna happen on November 3rd? Who knows? Indeed, on the 3rd, the FDIC shut down a bank. Multiple banks started reporting missing deposit and delayed transaction processing. It would appear the Ingersoll Lockwood Group predicted this. Sir Oliver Pollock posts that a scripture, Matthew 24, 27, For as the lightning comes from the east and shines in the west, so shall the coming of the son of Adam be. Joe Rambo indicates the video means that a storm of sorts is coming. Introspect produced a neat infographic explaining some of the changes to the white rabbit link through page. The current stooped over rabbit is the quote unquote hungry bunny, as that is the name of the actual JPEG image. It says news unlock prep 300 to 200. So that seems to be immediately signifying the Great Depression idea that we have to get ready now for a collapse. This is one of several graphics. Here we have an apparent sandstorm 
a clock showing a time 11.3, the ship on the right signifying potentially drought conditions in Panama, which affects world trade through the canal. This berry is apparently the fruit of rambutan, which grows into 49 to 79 foot tall evergreens. Here is some art composition featuring Alex Podesta, but I can't really discuss that. Implications of it are quite obvious. Grab it, click through for October 28th. Uh, 4, 10, 20, MJ complete. 17, next step. The name of this image, 11, 3, 11, 5, 45, 47, 17, 17. User Very Calm Scott notes that P Canal is likely representative of Panama Canal, just further reinforcing the theme of trade conditions being affected by drought in Panama. An account called Ribbit collected screenshots from the different funny click-through images. This first image was posted while the house was deliberating to select a new speaker of the house in late October. So you see the Chu Jordan, representative likely Jim Jordan, though MJ will equally fit the current speaker of the house, Michael Johnson, possibly indicating this is predictive programming. You still have the date signifier 11-3, for November the 3rd, as well as a rabbit on top of a hat. This hat, which I did choose to look up, is a steampunk vintage top hat with feathers generated by generative AI. Per Merlin, steampunk is a subgenre of science fiction that combines elements of the Victorian era with speculative fiction, usually set in an alternate history where steam power is still widely used. It features imaginative inventions, airships, and other elements of the Industrial Revolution, often set in a dystopian or post-apocalyptic future. Another image posted, I believe this one was done on October 28th or so, it features very similar symbology of a white rabbit pointing to the time, the Mickey Mouse watch with 11-3, the steampunk top hat, this little mouse-like creature holding a paddle, presumably. When you run it through Tenai, you find that it is actually a chinchilla in a miner's outfit holding a tiny pickaxe. The introspect account finds the relation of the watch to the top hat as a quote-unquote tippy top com, which we had received recently for Trump, if you believe Trump communicates in such ways. If some of you viewers are new to the Ingersoll Lockwood website and concept, the namesake is based on a series of books written by an attorney during the 19th century one of which was called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. This led to speculation that this individual may have been influenced by a nascent understanding of future events in writing his book. Important to note, The Marvelous Journey is just one of a series of books, which includes The Last President for 1900. And think about that in relation to the recent controversies concerning the leadership in our country. And very interestingly, there is a watch company called the Ingersoll Watch Company. And hence, you have the name relation of Ingersoll with Trump with watches. This is the man, Ingersoll Lockwood. And I should note that on or before October 26th, the White Rabbit linked to this image, which shows the White Rabbit in a gym, also featuring the Jordan shoe, which outstate is a more clear, obvious reference to Jim Jordan. So, in total, when we consider that Jim Jordan held a hidden message for the public, ostensibly, during that controversy on who's going to speak, be Speaker of the House, the message stated, what is the real reason? I conclude that the Speaker of the House race, the decision to select Michael Johnson as the House Speaker, the ticking clock down to 11-3, the numerous bank disruptions on Friday, the homepage references to famine, the Space Force, UFOs, the debt clock, and the Abraham Accords. It's intended to mean that many of the events that we were seeing is somehow planned in advance and is according to a specified order by a controlling power of which we do not completely understand. The appearance of the President John F. Kennedy account, which is allowed to persist without the word parody, could even play into this. The force that seems to direct world affairs may explain why Ingersoll Lockwood website emphasizes themes of time travel, as there are forces, perhaps human, that know of the force that directs current events. It may or may not rest on the agency of our personal mind states to determine if we head towards famine or a Nisara Jasara type possibility with the looming financial crash, presumably. A very insightful account, Ariel states that we are in it. The Nisara is not coming. You've been under it for years under a different name. It is monetary and economic reforms. It's just a gradual process, apparently. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Whichever world we're going to is taking shape right in front of our eyes. Peace.
been chosen. 